Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought it'd be good to just do a good old unboxing, but I didn't want to just do one unboxing. I felt like I wanted to do two unboxings and I didn't want to do two videos, so I decided to put them all in one. What I'm going to do today is compare the Pip Box for June against the Glossy Box for June and just see, you know, in comparison, side by side, which is actually the best because out of these two subscription boxes that I get, I like both of them. I've never been disappointed with the Pip Box. I think this is great. It's cruelty free only, so you know what you're getting. Glossy Box, again, I don't think I've ever been disappointed. Maybe one month I was slightly disappointed, but honestly, really, really impressed by this. And it, this is just very affordable as well. The Pip Box is $19.99 a month so it's a little bit more pricey glossy box about 13 pounds a month something like that if you do the rolling contract so yeah I'm just gonna go in I'm going to start with the pit box I think because it's the first one here so it looks like this this month is actually the sustainable beauty sorry with the glare um so what does that mean let's have a look so it's the June edit theme this month is sustainable beauty this means your beauty treats are kind to your skin body and our planet with recyclable packaging by conscious brands i love that i'm really getting into like more conscious brands so anything like that i'm all about looks really good i already see a brand in here that i like or that i have a good opinion on so this actually looks like a really good box straight away i'm excited all right so the first thing i see right here is this codex from beauty labs this is a bia bia hydrating skin superfood this looks really, really good. Anything that says superfood, I'm I'm all about. Um, so you apply it directly onto the skin with clean fingertips and gently massage in. Daily use on normal to dry skin. Let's have a look and see what it looks like. So it looks like this, just a little tube. It is a 20 mil. So recommended retail price is £14 for this. And it's treatment cream for face, hands and a body. And it hydrates, smooths, softens and soothes dry, flaking, and irritated skin. So the only place I really have dry skin would be my elbows. Um, it is interesting product, but I just don't know if it's something that is for me. I don't really have dry skin at the moment either, but I might keep it for the winter because I do get dry skin in the winter. Okay, next thing in here is from SkinFed. I actually really like this company. I really love one of their exfoliating uh, creams that I've got. I also have a moisturizer, which is okay, but it's not my favorite. This one is a foot balm. Oh my gosh. And it's peppermint with shea butter, cocoa butter, and vitamin E, and it's got 50 mil in here. I've never had a foot balm before. I don't really do anything with my feet, but I guess I could try to gently massage into feet, paying particular attention to heels and other areas of dry or hard skin. And again, I think I might give this to my partner. I keep giving him items, but he's got really bad dry feet. So I might give this to him. I really, really like this brand though. If you haven't tried SkinFed, I really, really like it. <clears throat> Recommend the retail price is only £7.95 for this. So it's pretty affordable. It's got high level of omega-3 fatty acids with the flaxseed oil and that prevents dryness um, and it leaves your skin feeling soft and nourished with the shea butter and vitamin E. So it's got a cooling formula as well, I guess because of the peppermint. It's actually interesting. I, I do kind of want to try it, but I don't really need it. So I might pass this on, but I do, do like the look of this. <clears throat> okay, next in here is from Lucky Cloud. I actually have another product from Lucky Cloud. I believe it's a serum. And I quite like the serum. Um, I only tried it for about a month, so I didn't try too much of it, but it is was a nice serum. So, uh, you know, so far my opinion of the brand is good. Um, this is a hydrating super bomb. And it's in sweet orange and cocoa. It's got um, organic cocoa butter and calendula. So I've been like researching calendula actually for my job um so that's interesting that that's there I've been doing like a lot of research about products with kind of oil and, and everything like that um anyway so this restores and softens your skin with he with healing calendula while shea butter and cocoa butters lock in moisture to soften rough and flaky areas gentle enough to use head to toe on surface of skin with a delicious chocolate orange scent to brighten your mood so it's for chapped dry and eczema prone skin 
gosh, I feel like they give me a lot of products for dry skin, which I don't have. So that is a little bit of a shame because this looks really, really good. I kind of want to open it, but I also don't want to open it because I might, I might have to give this to somebody else because I don't feel like I need it or I'm going to be using it. It says perfect for hands, elbows, lips, feet, and more. So, um, as I said, my elbows are my driest part probably. I, um... I had to think about this. It is a shame and it looks like this. You can see I, I didn't even show the product. I do apologize. It is pretty nice. Let me just see what the price is. This is the most expensive item in the box. This is £17. This is almost the price of the box. And I guess it's like the, the feature item in the box. It lo looks really, really nice. I'm just sort of gutted that I don't have dry skin or like super, super dry skin that I use this again. I might give it to my partner because he's got dry skin. Ooh, there's something in here that I am excited to have because I've been wanting to buy this. Not this particular one, but something similar. So this is from the Vintage Cosmetic Company. I actually have another product from them. I think Glossybox gave us a product last month. Um, they were like re reusable eye gel pads, which I still haven't used. But these are um, makeup removing cloths. And it's got obviously this little design you get three cloths oh that's awesome and it removes makeup using only water so i've always wanted to try these i feel like this is just something that is great for the environment and if it works then that's great and they're super super soft really nice i like that i like i like the uh, packaging of these um this brand it's like vintage it's, it was supposed to be vintage because it says the vintage cosmetic company so obviously it's going to be vintage but I just like the little vintage vibe and this particular um <clears throat> pattern sort of reminds me of like vintage style like you know back in the 50s where the, the ladies of the house uh would be pampering themselves and yeah this is pretty cool I like that you get three and not just one in them as well. So recommend the retail price is $9.99 for this. And yeah, you just use a splash of water and it should get rid of your makeup. It also is dual sided as well. So you don't need to just use one side. You can use both sides and it is really, really soft. So I'm definitely going to be using these. That is a true win for me. Last thing in here is an eye cream. Oh, I've been wanting to get an eye cream for the longest. I do have a couple of eye creams that I'm working through, but I've been wanting to try a new eye cream. So this one is from Zero. Never heard of this brand. It's 100% natural, plant-based skincare, vegan, sustainable packaging, and it's a 25 mil. Normally eye creams are usually about, like the sample sizes I get are about 10 mil, and then a full size is usually 30 mil. So it's almost a full size, it's pretty nice. This is what the inside packaging looks like. So recommend a retail price is $9.99 for this one as well. That is really, really affordable for eye cream. Eye cream is always so overpriced, in my opinion. So I feel like at this, you could get away with just using regular night cream. But, you know, there's this whole thing with eye cream. So I'm just trying to find, like, eye cream that I like. Anyway, so this is rejuvenating eye cream. It is rich in shea butter. And uh, it's got coconut oil as well. And it's uh, it's to hydrate and nourish the delicate skin around your eyes. So this actually sounds great. I'm definitely going to be using this. Definitely going to be trying it in my Shop My Stash. Cannot wait. I need to fill my Stop My Stash. Stop My Stash. Shop My Stash. <laughs> so I'm going to be uh, trying this out very, very soon, I imagine. It's a really cute bottle. I like that. Okay, and that's it. That's all I got for the Pit Box. Quite a few items there that I feel like are pretty good. Um, I have to say, out of the, you know, it's a shame that the first three items are all for dry skin, in particular this feature one. And I also got the foot balm, which I guess I will try because it's kind of interesting. But I might have to pass these two on, um, and maybe even the Codex one as well which is a little bit disappointing. I might have to pass those two on, but I'm definitely gonna be using the eye cream and also the makeup removal uh, towels as well. Okay, on to Glossy Box. I'm gonna show you the front because it's got all my address details and I don't want anyone coming to find where I am. I'm just gonna open this up and see what we got this month. Okay, so the box looks like that. Doesn't look like anything different this month. And this is what it looks like inside. I love how they have the ribbon all the time. So this one is Dreaming of Paradise. Ooh, I like the sound of that. So summer skin sorted, fresh and feminine, 
Um, and then they got like a thing about vitamin C. Oh, okay. Ooh. Ooh. It looks like I got an extra item in here. So I'm going to go in with the extra item because it's not in this little like booklet here. But they gave me a, uh, what is this? <laughs> this is um, a dark chocolate nuts and sea salt bar from Kind. This is one of these Kind bars. I've seen these in so many videos actually. Definitely will try this and eat this at some point. First thing I have in here is not very interesting, something that I probably would already have. It is a Garnier Micellar Water. It's actually a full size, which I'm pretty impressed with. You can get like the, the like full full sizes one, but um, this is 125 ml and it is recommended retail price is like one pound nine nine so nothing really special here sorry for the light but yeah this is what it looks like i've used so many different garnier um makeup removers and micellar waters and milks like cleansing milks and so on i'm actually trying to get rid of a couple so it's not really my favorite but i will always say yes to micellar water just to have to be able to take off my makeup because i usually use something like that to take off my makeup so it's good to have but it's not really something that i'd want to get from a beauty box next thing i've got in here is from nip and fab this is the second item i've received from glossy box a nip and fab item it's a, the vitamin c scrub fix so i've got the vitamin c cleanser which i did review somewhat review in my shop my stash i used it for i think it was a month maybe even two months it was pretty good and um, this one is just an exfoliator, so hopefully this will be even better. I like the packaging. I love the, the, the pink and orange. I know that sort of clashes sometimes, but to me it just speaks summer and I really like that. I like the vibrancy of it. The recommended retail price for this is $12.95. It's got coffee seed extract and coconut oil as well. Um, so yeah. I think, it look, I think it looks pretty good. I'll definitely try it. Next thing I've got in here is, what is this for? This is a cleansing purifying scrub with sea salt from Christoph Robin. Don't really know anything about this. Oh, what? Oh, it's a shampoo. This purifying shampoo is ideal as a detox or post-coloring treatment. Apply on wet hair, massage the scalp, lather, then rinse. Use a nourishing treatment on lengths and ends if needed. The scalp is healthy and soothing. Um, and hair is shiny and light. Avoid contact with eyes. Ooh, okay. Let me open it up. Oh, oh gosh, that is the strongest smell looks like that it's kind of like a bomb but like with sea salt crystals in it it's so strange i'm definitely going to be trying that i just washed my hair today so i'm not going to do that um until i wash it again but i'll definitely try this i want something to like scrub my scalp with and i actually almost bought something um from yes to but i didn't buy it but i almost bought it so it's a good thing that i actually got this because now i can try it um I like the fact that it, it's a detox, so you actually can massage it into the scalp. So maybe that will help. Um, I don't really have like flakiness or anything. I just feel like I need to get rid of some buildup in my hair. So that will be handy. Recommended retail price for a deluxe mini is £6.40. And is this a deluxe mini? Yeah, this is a deluxe mini, which is 40 mil. The full size, which is 250 mil, is worth £40. So it is a pricey shampoo, I will say. Next thing I've got in here is from Mitchell and Peach. And this is an English leaf body oil. So I'm not a huge fan of body oils. I don't know, they just don't do it for me. So this one is, is kind of a dud. So it's blended with almond oil, vitamin E, this body oil leaves skin soft and scented. Apply a small quantity to skin and massage gently. And it's made in England. So recommended retail price is £23. This is a full size. I don't know. Is that a normal full size for a body oil? If this is 50 mil. So 50 mil for a body oil. A body oil, 50 mil. That's a full size. Surprised me. Okay, so um, ooh, okay. It's got citruses, it's got coriander leaves, basil, mint, and floral oils. That's it, that's cool. Let me just smell this. Let's see. It's got no cap on it, which surprises me. 
Yeah, it does smell a bit citrusy, and I can smell the basil and the mint and the floral. I don't know about coriander, but it smells okay. It's it kind of it's, it does smell herby, but it's okay. I just it's not something that I particularly am that interested in, unfortunately. Okay, so last item in here. I feel like I've gone through the glossy box much faster than the other box. But uh, this is from the Beauty Crop. So I've had a few items from the Beauty Crop before. And this is a pH changing hydrating lip oil. Ooh, I like these pH hydrating, like changing oils because they, they don't they change based on the pH of your lips. So they change color and things like that. So they're clear, but they actually change. Oh yeah, look, see? Oh, that's so cute. So it's a clear bottle. Oh, this is going to get filthy. I mean, it's got a blue tint to it. But isn't that packaging so cute? It's got little cherries on it and it's it's called Oui Cherry. Oh, that is gorgeous. Okay, hydrating lip oil. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, definitely a fan of this. I know that there's like the light coming in from the window, so it's not the best um, way to view the product. But I think this is the best thing in the in the box for me, absolutely. So this one is worth £13, so it's the price of the box, like the whole, everything else is free up to this point. <laughs> um, even though that body oil is £23, which I think is crazy. Okay, so for gorgeously kissable lips, look no further. The sticky moisture rich, oh, the sticky, this non-sticky, this non-sticky moisture rich lip treatment will gloriously enhance your pout's natural color whilst making your lips super smooth. Um, Yes, it's got a cherry oil blend. Nice, okay. I have to say I haven't really enjoyed the products that I've got from the Beauty Crop. I got a um, an eyebrow gel sometime last year. I didn't really like it. I still have it. I need to declutter it. But I'm hoping that this one will be better. I do have some lip gloss on, so I don't want to put it on. Otherwise, I would try it. But yeah, it's cute. It's got a little pink wand here. I like this. Ooh, wait. Wow. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. I wouldn't even say it smells like cherries. It smells like sweets. It's Oh, it smells like those cherry sweets that you buy, actually. Um, you know the ones. Um, they're just, you know, the red and green, like, cherry sweets. It smells just like them, but, like, maybe even sweeter. It smells like that. Okay, that's all I got from the glossy box. So, if I were to rate these two boxes, just comparing them side by side, I think it's actually really interesting to do that. And I just, oh, it's kind of hard because I like a couple of items in the glossy box and I like a couple of items in the pit box. And then there's three items in the pit box that are nice, but they're not really the best items for me. And then there are two items here oh actually does the glossy box win i really i mean i wouldn't say i'm like hugely crazy about this but i am interested to try it because i've tried the cleanser in the same range and i've only tried one item from nip and fab which is the cleanser so i'd like to know like what the other products are but i also got a micellar water so that to me is kind of like a no-no I like the fact that we got some shampoo actually. I think this is really interesting just for me in particular because I'm like leaning over here. So I'm sorry if I'm off camera, but the, the sun is just doing my head in. So um, yeah, this shampoo is really nice and I like that lip oil and that's it, right? Yeah, that's all I like from the glossy box. So didn't so I like three things actually from the glossy box, but then two things I'm not too crazy about. And then I got a chocolate bar, um, which I don't really, I can't really rate it because it's not even in the pamphlet. So don't know why that I got that. And then um, I feel like the pit box actually is the same because I do like Skin Fed. I really like the uh, the brand. I just don't know if a foot balm is all that interesting to me. And so hmm. I guess the glossy box won this month, which is really surprising to me. When I was opening up the boxes, I was more excited about the pit box than I was the glossy box. But actually, just looking at the products that I've got, I think I'm going to enjoy the products from the glossy box more. So, yeah, glossy box won this month, unfortunately, for the pit box. But, you know, I still love the pit box. 
and I would recommend it to anyone because it hasn't really let me down. There's always been a box where I've found a few items that I've enjoyed. Yes, it is a little bit more pricey, but I feel like because you're getting cruelty-free items, it's sort of a win-win. And the glossy box sort of had like a mixture of, I don't know, some weird, some weird assembly of brands, I feel like. So it wasn't as uh, well put together, I feel like. So... With that in mind, Pit Box better with in terms of theme, perhaps, and the Glossy Box better in terms of if I'll actually use the items or not. So there you go. Let me know which box you would have preferred to receive. And if you like this style of video where I compare two different boxes, I thought it'd be interesting to try it out. I'm still waiting on my Cohorta box for the month, so I'm just going to do like my own little video for that. I was I was going to wait until I got that and I was going to do all three boxes in one video but I just didn't want to wait any longer, I wanted to film it. it was too intriguing to know what was in these boxes so yeah let me know if you enjoyed this, like and subscribe if you'd like to and I will see you next time, thank you, bye!